Hi, I'm Mary Melarano. I am a volunteer for the Business Advocacy Committee for the Campbell County Chamber of Commerce. And today I'm visiting with candidate Matt Avery, who is running for the Office of County Commissioner. And we've invited Mr. Avery to talk to us today about his views on business issues here in Campbell County. But first off, would you like to introduce yourself? I would, and, and thank you for inviting me here. And, and um, uh, my name is Matt Avery. I'm, 50, I'm 65 years old, 55 year resident of Campbell County. Um, I'm currently a rancher uh, northeast of Rosette and uh, where my family and I uh, work as partners on the ranch and, and, um, and I'm running for a third term of uh, position of Campbell County Commissioner. Great. Thank you, Mr. Avery. First question, are you in favor of the optional 1% sales tax and why or why not? I have always been a strong supporter of the 1% sales tax and um, I um, uh, when it first came up in 1976, I voted for it. I, I strongly feel that it's a, it's, a, it's a fair tax that we tax ourselves. And it does so much good uh, in our county and uh, helps maintain our infrastructure as in fire protection and county roads. And, uh, and it helps uh, uh, with uh, our landfill, uh, solid waste. Um, and, um, and it's used for human service agencies and parks and rec and, and the list goes on and mm -hmm. on. And um, anyhow, it's, it's um, done so much good in our, in our uh, county and um, I really don't want to even think about what would happen if we don't have that tax. Thank you. Uh, what do you feel are the key responsibilities of the position you are running for? Well, first of all, the responsibility is being committed and accountable to the position. And that means uh, showing up at all meetings and functions and um, uh, being, being a team member. Uh, uh, there's uh, five commissioners. Uh, uh, right now, we all come from different backgrounds and, and have our different viewpoints on, on things. and that to me makes it very healthy because uh, we can have conversations about uh, different issues and you know you may have your own point of view on on an issue but then after you listen to some others uh, where they're coming from um, and sometimes uh, you can see why you need to look at the other side my dad always said the thinnest pe piece of paper still has uh, two sides to it mm -hmm. and um, but it's also good that you can express your viewpoints and and uh, and ideas and um, and and the others um, take time to uh, look at that and, and understand that as well. So I feel like we got a real good uh, board. But I uh, also want to stress that uh, not only at the county level do we need to be engaged and committed to, but we also need to be uh, committed to our, at the state level with the Wyoming County Commissioners Association. And um, uh, being involved in that, I sit on the Public Lands uh, Committee. And then uh, six years ago, um, I asked our, um, my fellow commissioners about going to D.C. and um, get involved with the National Association of Counties. and. Um, that has brought a lot of good things to us and um, and now we have two or three county commissioners from Campbell County that go back there and sit on on different committees. I sit on the public land steering committee um, uh, some others sit on the, um, uh, uh, the uh, or energy committee and another one is on uh, 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 all the traffic um, uh, interstate, there we go. Um, but I also um, uh, sit on a Western Interstate Regional Board, which is two or three commissioners from each of the 15 Western states that um, come together four times a year and as a board, and we talk about issues that affect our states and our, our counties. And I'm very honored to sit on that board, uh, Doug Thompson from Fremont County was on that board uh, prior to me and, and he retired from being a commissioner and, and I asked to um, fill his spot in which I was able to do that. And 
So it's really important to um, be involved in all these things. And, and uh, when you're talking to uh, agencies, federal agencies in district offices and stuff, you're, you're looking at people that have been given sideboards and they can't, they can't work outside those sideboards. They, um, they are in a structure. And so if you want to change that, uh, you have to go to the top. And the top, uh, more than likely, is going to be in D.C. And so while we're there at the National Association of Counties Legislative Session, we also take time to go visit the Department of Interior, the, uh, the Forest uh, Department, and the uh, Department of Energy, uh, Department of Environment Quality, uh, the Department of Ag, and, um, and we, we build and have built um, a good relationship with those agencies now. And so now when we go back there or, or if we have to call them on the phone, they know who they're talking to and they, and, uh, and they welcome us to have conversations with them. And it's helped us in, as in uh, smoothing out the uh, permitting process uh, with the BLM and, and the uh, energy fact um, um, industry and especially like oil and gas and, and they're able to streamline that, that um, uh, permitting process. And, that, and it's, a lot of that is due because we took the time and went back to D.C. and helped change that. And uh, so um, I've always been taught that uh, uh, you either at the table or you're on the menu. And I firmly believe in that. And I'm committed to do what I do. And I love what I do. And, um, but it's, um, it's going, it, it takes time, it takes a lot of time and, um, and I, but I have the time and I have the commitment to do it. And, um, so those are just a few of the things, uh, as a position of county commissioner that, uh, I hope that people understand that it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. Great. And final question, uh, what would you do to improve the overall business climate in the county? Well, um, I, um, I studied that question quite a bit. And um, anyhow, um, you know, we need to continue working with our college. Mm -hmm. And we need, to, we need to figure out a way that we can, we can adequately fund the college for um, uh, businesses, to attract businesses to come to Gillette for a workforce. And um, anyhow, as Camel County, we need to we need to look at being a lot more diversified than we are, and in other words, we need to attract businesses like um, um, uh, uh, active uh, car carbon uh, out here. And um, anyhow, if we can get more of those coming in, and we can use coal and oil and gas for for other other things and marketing things, uh, we can attract businesses here and. And so um, it's important that we, we also work with the um, uh, economic development in order to attract businesses to come here. And, and so as those businesses look at our area, because we, we're sitting in a great spot here, because we got, um, we got an air, a great airport here. Um, we've got Interstate 90 that goes through here. We've got a uh, Class A rail system that comes in here. And um, we sit between the Bighorn Mountains and the Black Hills. And um, we've got a lot of things to see. We've got a lot of things to do and, and not very long time to get to any of them. And so we've got a lot of things that can attract people here. We've got the energy that, that um, uh, we can attract um, different uh, uh, industries to come in here and, and um, um, do business, but uh, we have to work with our college and, and, and gear up for what kind of workforce these businesses are going to need. And, um, you know, and I, I firmly believe that our, our, our young people that go to school here will more likely be able to stay here. And so I, I feel that is um, really, really important. Great. Well, thank you for your time. We appreciate you coming in today. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you.